uh, welcome ITS Tactical. Thank you guys for coming to us uh, this year, 2011. Uh, new this year, um, well actually last year, 2010, we introduced the OBR Lite 556. Previous year we had the 762 OBR. This year we're introducing the Predator Series OBR. It's available in both 556 and 762 in 16 and 18 inch barrels. What these were made for were to fill the gap with the people that needed to shoot uh, these rifles within the uh, hunting community and the competition shooting community. They have longer handguards, lower contoured barrels. The 556, we're able to drop about two pounds out of it. This is uh, coming in um, it's a little bit under six pounds. The 762 is coming in a little bit under eight pounds. The, uh, the gas system is a gas impingement system. It has a standard gas block on both of them. And it has the same familiar feel as the standard OBR. Standard OBRs, since they're long gunners, they're a little bit heavier with a heavier barrel. They also had 20 MOA built into the upper rail and 10 MOA for the 5.56. That was so that you could take some of the um, some of the MOA out of your, your travel. These, because they're for general uh, predator hunting or for competition, these had zero MOA. Something else new that we have this year that's an accessory that's common to both uh, the 5.56, 7.62, both OBR models are these rail covers. We've been doing uh, plastic molding in-house with our index clips and our hand stops. This is the prototype hand cover and this is the production model. These are running right now. They have some texture on them so you can have a really firm grip and you're out there doing your competition. You're not going to let this slip out of your hands. Also, with AR-10 type platforms, SR-25, stuff like that, including our OBRs, with uh, 308, it's hard to get your chin up and cheek belt correct on a scope with a collapsible stock. So with a CTR, you know, when you when you would put a, um, a cheek riser on a CTR, you'd have to move it all the way to the rear in order to operate the charging handle, and you'd have to clear that. With the riser, it reciprocates along with the charging handle. So it allows you to uh, function the rifle in any position. You're able to uh, cycle the ammunition at the lowest position, and then in any other position, you're able to lock it back and do whatever else is needed. Yeah, great feature. Pretty cool. So that's what we have for 2011 to share with all of you. And uh, I'd like to thank all you guys for coming. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. All set? Alright sir, now you've got to buy it. Alright, how much? Five thousand dollars.